We have our Chick-fil-A, we're getting gas, and then we will be off to DC for my birthday trip. So while Brooke is pumping gas, we are going to write a special message on the back of her car. You think, so birthday trip drinks on you, question mark? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure when we pull up to this nice, nice hotel, there are gonna be so many people who wanna buy me drinks. Oh yes, this super nice <laughs> this hotel that was less than a hundred dollars. And here is the spacious elevator. Our like it doesn't fit the luggage cart. It did not fit. We are geniuses. Literally looks so good. I'm actually so happy with it. We're seeing Machine Gun Kelly and I just learned that Brooke only knows emo girl. I do not only know <laughs> emo girl. I need to get a Megan Fox sighting. What, you have Dollar Store Megan Fox right here. I dated Dollar Store Machine Gun Kelly. I'm trying to see Gucci man. Go. Grace, like, are they gonna like Venmo me for that? <laughs> All you can see is like the multiple bags of dolls. I don't even see the dolls. American Girl New York City is also going to be calling me at 12.30 because I made reservations there while I was like, living in New York and I forgot to cancel them. Why with a picture of us in the American Girl Doll store? <laughs> what do you mean we're here? We're like, where's the waiter? Like we're sitting here, we're waiting. We've been waiting for 20 minutes. My girls are thirsty. Get the dolls are bloody Mary. They have little doll IDs. <laughs> Get them all fakes. <laughs> it's like Felicity. <laughs> on the fake ID, so it's like, the doll her picture. Birth, her birth year is like 1882. Her address is Colonial Williamsburg, Virginia. <laughs> and that's all. They're like, ma'am, this isn't a real address. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. This is I a real point. Look it up on Zillow. <laughs> I hope they don't take our IDs in the process. Security at the American Girl Doll Store takes our fake ID. Should I get my doll's clit hood pierced at the doll ear piercing station? I like how we started out with those rings. <laughs> Can I get my doll's nipples pierced, please? I'm like, what clit? I'm like, you can't find it? Wow. I was like, I want to bring the most inconvenient amount of American Girl dolls to the store. I just want to know what they're going to think. It's an entire birthday party. Me and my, what, nine closest friends. <laughs> Which one? Oh, she needs the wheelchair. <laughs> Crown, and they gave her a crown and then I got these little stickers and then I got a little bracelet a little matching. No, y'all are matching. It's really cute. I planned it. This my mom made out of the scraps of one of my old costumes. My first lead is a strumble lead. We don't have enough so <laughs> some people will go hungry. MGK's colors are pink and black. Should I just put them in my purse, just in case? Steal them. Those little girls have them in their hair. <laughs> so. We are 10 years older than them. American girl. <laughs> she has her own American girl doll, and it's her birthday. Look, she's going to a concert too. So apparently there could be like protests potential riots going on. But our exit is taking us in the direction of Capitol Hill. Like Capitol Hill is the name of our exit. There's the pencil. Is that the Lincoln Memorial? Right there. Yeah, that little skinny girl thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just see the thing with the head. dome? That's the White House. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm really into this stuff. Yeah. Huge announcement. Oh, it worked. Nice. We have been in traffic for like an hour. And someone sent us $10. Hi vlog. We just had a bit of a scare, but we're in our room. We made it. I booked the hotel and I said to Grace, I was like, in some places you have to be 21 to like book, like walk into a hotel room, like by yourself, you know? And so we looked it up and in DC, you don't have to be. Well, our hotel is in Maryland. And it's I- It's like four seconds. Literally, yeah, you. like barely. Like, we didn't even realize it was in Maryland. Until my Apple Maps was like, welcome to Maryland. And then we got off the highway immediately. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. So in Maryland, you do have to be 21. So I'm checking us in and they were like, is anyone who's staying in this room 21? And it was like, just me and Grace. And Grace was getting the luggage cart. I checked in under my debit card that has my like real address on it. So like they knew I was 20. And so I called Grace and I was like, hey Grace, do you have your ID with you? And she was like, no, it's in the car. And I was like, okay, can you go get it? 
they need to know one of us is 21. And she was like, okay. I'm a really good actress. It's actually my major, but Brooke doesn't believe that I'm a good actress. <laughs> I believe you're a good actress. I just think you're a little a slow little, sometimes. I'm a little ditzy. You're a little slow I sometimes. Will say. So, so I'm like waiting, she comes back in. And so I was like, yeah, like we, we thought we were booking in DC and you don't have to be 21 to like check in there by yourself. But this is Maryland where you have to be like, really trying to reinforce this to her. And I was like, okay. And she caught on immediately, immediately. No problems I at all. I saved the day. She did save the day. I saved the day. We were in the hotel room. And if it was two weeks ago, we would have been screwed. That's all I'll say. I think this place is cute. There's it a, is. There's and a it's even got a nice little view. There's a basketball team staying here. No, oh my gosh. Wait, <laughs> but the basketball players are... There's a basketball team staying here. We're gonna try to get to know them a little bit. Maybe they're going to the Machine Gun Kelly concert. I hope. We could we could Uber with them. Here's the fit with the with the shoes. I needed to show the shoes because I'm obsessed with the shoes. Here's the makeup. I wore some purple sparklies. I'm really happy with it. We are almost ready. Y'all, I'm so excited to see MGK. I just told Brooke this. I've, li I've been listening to him since he made music like when he lived in Cleveland. Like I'm so obsessed with that man. Like I really like his music. Um, do you really? I do, and I'm very excited to go. Oh, I do like MGK. I do like MGK. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! We're about to go. Shane to get in our Uber. He was so sweet, and he's waiting for us because Brooklyn Bridge asked me to call it, and then said she was not ready for the Uber. You said you can call the Uber. We got in and he said, where am I bringing you? I guess he wanted to confirm maybe. So we were said Capital One Arena, we're going to see a concert. We're seeing Machine Gun Kelly. He didn't know what that was. I said, do you want me to play some for you? He said, no. We former, explained to him that Machine Gun Kelly was a singer. All me and him talked about was where he was from and where we were from. So then me and Grace just start having our own private conversation after I've run through like where this guy is from and how long he's lived in the area and stuff like that. And he said six years ago, he moved here to make money. And then he started asking us a bunch of questions. So right after he said like he was here to make money, he asked if we were staying alone. He interrupted me and Grace's like private conversation. Like we were having in the backseat, just like talking to each other. He was like, so are you guys staying at that hotel alone? And we both like looked at each other. And I was like, we're sleeping there alone, but my dad lives like directly inside DC. So we're like here kind of with him. We're just gonna like sleep there. Yeah, that's not true. He also said like my parents are divorced and so Cause I, Cause we had already asked told me, him that yeah. we were from Richmond. So I said, well, my mom lives in Richmond where I live, but I'm here visiting my dad. So you're staying at your mom's house? My mom lives in Richmond, but my dad lives like, basically like, I guess like right in DC. And then he was like, is Machine Gun Kelly a gun show? And he asked, are you going to a party after we like had this whole Machine Gun Kelly yeah. conversation? And cause like every time he would try to like talk to us, we would just like give short answers, then either go back to silence or go back to talking between the two of because us. Because shit was getting weird. Yeah. And so he interrupted again and was like, you know, like y'all don't need to worry about getting an Uber back. Um, I get off at one. I'll give you like, I'll pick you up. I'll give give you, you a ride home for free. For free. Like it for won't free. be, he was like, it won't be like an Uber. Like it'll just be like free ride. And so then he was like, can I get your phone number? And literally while he's driving, he like pulls up his contact book. Yeah. He's literally driving the car, like putting his, like pulling up it. I was like, look at the road, sir. Well, if you need a ride, just call me. <laughs> I'll give you my phone number. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, give me phone number too. Let me save it. I said no. How about you give me your number? Um, how about you give me yours? Okay. Okay, two four zero. I didn't know what to say. But well, that was at first so I was gonna come up with a fake number, but I was like, that's too hard. Anyways, um, he asked us like, are you guys getting lit? Like, are y'all gonna be drinking? And, and we like, I was like, no, you have to be twenty one. And he was like you're not 18 and I was like I said 21 you have to be 21 to drink you guys drink you're 18 right both of you you have to be 21 to drink <laughs> you have to be 21 yeah so you are not 18 yet oh we're not 21 I'm not 21 mm -hmm. 
as things started progressing, I was like, something weird could happen and I wanna get a video of him asking us these questions to send to Uber to be like, hey, this isn't appropriate. This is what our driver said to us. He continuously asked us if we were staying alone as if he forgot the answer or something. And every single time I said, my dad yeah, lives down the street. So I wanted him to ask us like if we were staying alone. He never did on video, but I got video. <laughs> we are here. There, there is, is a helicopter. He got a double. We need it. He got a double. Brooke tried calling the hotel because they're supposed to have 24 hour security. The issue wasn't like, they answered the first time and then I said something about security and they put me on hold and never got back to me for 10 minutes. And then every time I called the desk again, they didn't answer. We are very early. I guess April's opening. I'm so excited. Brooke's on the line with the security from the hotel. Make sure we're all safe. Concert. I love concerts. I get like bad anxiety with certain things. Sometimes when I'm in movie theaters, for example, I like get a little nervous and stuff. So obviously we're in this giant crowd and then we just had like this really horrifying Uber experience. And my friend that lived in Nova was like, you should have never taken an Uber in DC. Like you need to always take Lyft. So then I'm like, okay, fuck, I'm downloading the Lyft app, I guess. Like, so I'm for trying to orchestrate that. And then I got like this news notification about all this like horrible stuff that was supposed to happen in DC last night. It was called a night of rain. That was like total clickbait. But like, because but I was already so upset, I was like, what is this? It's because Roe versus Wade got overturned today. Yeah. And so when Brooke showed me the notification that said a night of rage, I instantly thought of the night of a thousand tates from American Horror Story Cult, which is where they kill a bunch of pregnant women, or they try to. And so I'm like, oh my God, this is real. This is real. She's not. Take me, take me to the 
each other like holding each other buried in each other's chests and then I look and an ambulance goes by and police cars are everywhere and I was like it's happening and then the road is cleared because I mean, it's a concert and Brooke goes they cleared the roads and I was like oh. 
<laughs> yeah, because our lift driver like couldn't get to us. So yeah, she like, was like, the lift driver can't get to us because the roads are clear. And I was like, oh my gosh, shit's going down. I didn't even know you were like thinking these things. Like I I saw those girls hugging, but I thought they were just emotional after I was, seeing I was like, MGK. I was like, Brooke, look at that. Look at that. And I thought we were talking. I thought we were making fun of them. I thought that they were like crying over MGK. <laughs> lift driver can't get to us because the roads are blocked off because of the night of rage. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy that that's what you were thinking. I felt perfectly fine after I booked the, I like pre-scheduled the lift because that I think was the whole thing was like the whole Uber thing was making me nervous. Yeah. So after I scheduled the lift, I felt perfectly fine. I enjoyed myself for the rest of the night. I did not know that like literally the roles just reversed. I felt perfectly fine. Grace starts reading <laughs> the night of rage.